All animals with backbone are big animals. All animals with backbone are big animals. All animals with backbone are big animals. Examples are lion, elephant, cat, cow, and hen, among others. This is teacher Jonathan. Welcome, my learner, to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today in grade four is science and technology on living things and we are looking on vertebrates and invertebrates. Previously, our lesson, previous lesson, we looked at vertebrates and we said vertebrates are animals with backbone. And in pairs, can you give me examples of animals with backbone that we talked yesterday? Yes, Jane. Jane, animal with a backbone, example is an elephant, as our song has sung. Now, in pairs, I want us to tell me something. Can you discuss in your pairs examples of small animals? Because we said yesterday, big animals. That is to mean they are also small animals. So can you give me examples of small animals? Examples of small animals. Examples of small animals. If yesterday we say there are big animals. So it means to, there is also small animals. Examples, Victor. An example is locust. Correct. Locust is an example of a small animal. Another example. Yes, Victoria. Victoria has said mosquito. Mosquito is another example of a small animal. Another example of a small animal. Yes, John. John has said a tick. Tick is a small animal. Now, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. What makes these animals different? What makes these animals different from the others? What makes these animals different from the others? Who has a question? Or an answer for our question? What makes these animals different from all other animals that we have learned earlier? Yes. Tom, can you try? Tom has said they feel smooth when he, when he touches them. They feel very smooth as he touches them. They are soft. And he can't feel any backbone. He can't feel any bone among these animals. So, kindly, that is the correct answer. But before we say it is a correct answer, can you take your dictionary and confirm the meaning of the word invertebrates? Can you confirm the meaning of the word invertebrates? Yes, Tom, invertebrates are animals without backbone correct correct as tom has given us invertebrates are animals without backbones in other words we say they are also small animals they are also small animals invertebrates are small animals. And examples of these small animals without backbone, we had given examples, that was correct. We had given examples of small animals without backbone. And we call these animals invertebrates. Invertebrates. Now, my learners, in your groups, can you discuss examples of animals without backbone? Apart from the ones we have written on the board, can you now discuss in your groups examples of animals without backbone? And you give me the answer. And our first answer comes from Wangari. Wangari has said the first animal which she has identified without backbone is Nili Pent. Millipend, correct, Wangari, that is correct. Millipend is also categorized as a small animal because it lacks backbone. So we call it an invertebrate. Who else has another answer? 
Yes, from you, Jane. Jane has reminded us of grasshopper. Grasshopper. Grasshopper is also categorized as an animal without backbone. And Victoria, can you give us the answer? Victoria has said also another animal without backbone is spider. Spider. And all these answers are correct. And all these answers are correct. Class, remember, we have said invertebrates are animals without backbone. And we have also said invertebrates are small animals. Most of small animals, the tiny ones, are categorized here as animals without backbone because we cannot feel any bone among them. And we have given examples of these animals without backbone. This is the activity for us to do. Activity for us to do. Activity for us to do, class. When you go home, ask your parent to help you with the, the, the tablet and help you identify more examples of animals without backbone. Print them and bring them tomorrow in our class so that we can attach to your portfolio to remind us of animals without backbones, which we have called them invertebrates. Are we together? That marks the end of our lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.